Hi everyone, today I want to share with you my Midori Paint Diary 2019 and my new Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics that have been re-released with the addition of four new dual colors. So I thought I would combine these two together because I'd been meaning to do a video on the Paint Diary and I love the sparkly pins in my planners. It's just really fun when you're flipping back through to see that. So I thought this would be such a nice pairing and that I would basically set up my November calendar using these so that you all could get an idea of the dual metallics and the paint diary kind of at the same time. I'll probably be using my Juice Up 0.4 set for tiny writing I want to do in here. The dual metallics are a 1.0, which is pretty thick. So I'll show you there's some stuff in the paint diary that they'd be awesome for. And then when I want to do like small writing, I, I wouldn't use these. The paint diary comes in this navy, this white, which is really more of a cream. I would call it a cream personally. They call it white. And this red, even the little clasp here that looks like leather is vinyl. So this is a vegan friendly diary. Yeah, so let me kind of flip through it and I'll show you what it's all about. So here is the one I've actually been using. So right off the bat, you'll notice there are two pockets here that you could use in the front for stickers or whatever. And that's usually what I end up doing with pockets in my planners. You have two years of calendars at a glance. Like if you would need to figure out a date that a day falls on. These are handy, just really for reference. This yearly schedule, I've talked about this before. I usually use this to keep track of something I'm trying to keep track of daily, whether it's if I'm trying to lay off caffeine, if I'm trying to track my weight, something like that. I find these really useful. This is the October month that I set up. And I think I used this actually in a banner or something, so you may have seen this one before. And then we'll be setting up November today. But this calendar is really nice in that even though it's a 2019 calendar, it starts in October of 2018 just so that when you get it, you can start using it right away and you don't have to wait until January of 2019. I love when calendars do that because I'm always excited to start using them. And it goes through January of 2020. So they even give you an extra month on the end. So what they've done here with the calendar pages is made them so that you can totally customize and decorate them to your heart's content. Notice it is a Monday start. I love Monday start, and that's because I like my weekend here on the end, but it's kind of traditional for American calendars to start on Sunday, so I do want to point that out. And then this diary has lots of grid pages for like bullet journaling here. I put in the product description, I put the number of pages, but you get a lot of pages. So you could totally use this for, you know, checklists and things like that. And these really cool things at the back that I think are a lot of fun. It's just kind of a guide. Let me zoom a little bit. This could be a nice guide for somebody who's trying to track saving money. Maybe each flower is worth, you know, $20 or $100 or even $1, you know, whatever it is that your goal is. And then this could be to keep track of books you've read or maybe books you want to read. I think one fun way would be to put the book title and then when you've read it to highlight it or something like that or watercolor over it. And so I think that would be a lot of fun. And then this one, of course, to keep track of movies. And I actually think this is an excellent idea because I'm always trying to figure out what the last movie was that I saw at a theater. I don't know why that comes up all the time for me, but 
<laughs> and then my husband and I get into a big debate about what it was. And then just, you know, personal info at the back if you want to use that. I never fill in these because <laughs> if someone finds my, like, planner, I don't really want them to know it was mine, as weird as that sounds. Okay. So why don't we set up November together, just so you can get a good idea about this planner. Let me zoom back out. And I'm gonna be using a lot of these Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic, which I'm really excited these came back. Let me just show you really quick some swatches. So here we have all of the single colors. So these are available as individuals or in six color sets. And then I also swatched them on black because some of the dual colors look different on white than they do black. I think really what happens with some of these dual colors, the lighter color kind of fades away on the black, and so that's why this, like, say pink and metallic blue looks quite pink on this paper, but you can see it's a much bluer on the black. So a lot of these newer colors are like that. They really are a dual color depending on whether you're writing them on white or black. So I suggest playing with them on both. All right, so let me see if I can fill up some of this November calendar. One thing I'm excited to do is use the dual metallics on the to color in the days when I have something going on. So what I'm gonna do here is, I know that I have a midterm due on November the 4th. So I'm gonna take one of my favorite colors, the pink and metallic blue. Now this is one of the new colors and I'm gonna color in my dates. And then I'd personally like to add some stickers and I have these cute test stickers. These are from the Midori Seal collection. So I'm gonna use this cute test sticker on here because why wouldn't I? <laughs> and I'm gonna put it up here. And with my juice, I'm going to say my midterm is due. And basically, in the program I'm in, I have to have proctored tests. So that just means I have to have submitted this proctor test by midnight on the 4th. I know that the third Monday of every month, I have a library board meeting. So I'm gonna use a different color. Maybe I'll do navy because library board meetings are boring. And then that is at 515. Let's do a different color. So I already did. Let's do pink and metallic pink. I like that one a lot too. That's one of the previous colors that, you know, they've brought back. Basically, they brought back the whole series and then added four new colors. So it's a lot of fun. So let me see if you can get an idea of some of the shine that is gonna be in this planner. I'll do that again at the ending. And then let's see, do I have something that could look like a library meeting on here? This looks like a book, it's a notebook, but I'll put that right there. And then, oh, November is Thanksgiving. So let's, let's do our orange and metallic yellow on the whole month letters here. 
Gorgeous. Oops. I'm gonna have to turn that into a design. Um, last month what I did on the letters is like highlighter, which I liked, but I think this will be really fun to do the, I'm gonna cover that up with a sticker. Let's see. Da, 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 da. We'll do it after it dries, I'll cover it up with a, I'll do something cool with a sticker since I made a smudge. Okay. So what was I just saying? Thanksgiving, that's the fourth Thursday, right? Okay. So then, let me use, hmm, like I'm gonna use this one again for Thanksgiving. I'm not a big fan of Thanksgiving. Doing two family meals in one day is like, not my idea of fun at all. We'll just leave it like that. I'm gonna use the brown. I suppose it's good to remind yourself if you have to squeeze in two Thanksgiving meals, you know, at least you have, a you know, family to have Thanksgiving with. Like we really shouldn't complain about that, right? So I guess we can try to be grateful. That's what Thanksgiving's about. I kind of want to draw a little turkey with this, but I feel like if I do that on camera, I'll be jinxing myself. So probably I will draw a turkey <laughs> after taking off the camera. No, after turning off the camera, you know what I mean. Okay, so there we've got Thanksgiving. I have a charity auction I have to go to which I believe is on the 5th. Let me double check. Yes, my charity auction is on the 5th. I'll do this color and I'll put it with one of the blues. Let's do violet and metallic blue. Okay. I think for my charity auction, I'll use this little yin purse. So I go to this thing every year and it's, and I go both as a participant and I, you know, I donate Tokyo Pen Shop stuff for it, but it's to raise money for women's scholarships. And the group focuses on women who wanna go back to school as an adult, like maybe she started school and then never finished it because she had to leave and go work or she had to leave and she had children. Usually the scholarships go to somebody who couldn't finish school traditionally the first time. So it's a really nice thing to participate in. Every year, I think education's really important especially for people who are trying to kind of like basically make their lives better. So let me kind of do some more. Um, I need the light to catch it in such a way that you can see it glinting. So what I'd really like to do is make glitter strips here but I feel like it's a little daring so I'm but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it okay here's what we're gonna do Okay, on Sundays, I usually have a group, a group meeting with some people from my class. So I'm gonna fill that in for these Sundays. 
Now, let me make sure to use one of the new colors. Pink and metallic blue is so good, and so is blue and gold. I definitely want a color color. I'm, I'll do blue and gold. The problem with needing Sunday mornings for my class this term is that I can't really go out to brunch because it's from 10 to noon, which is like the perfect brunching hours. I guess I could just go at noon, but there's not really good brunching places to go in my small town. So we have to drive out of town and then by the time you'd get there, it'd be like afternoon, you know? Okay, so let's do, I'll do orange. My planners definitely tend toward the more practical side rather than the super artistic side just because I'm not an artist at all, which is no secret. I guess I'll do these schoolhouses for the class group days. Now this little hole here that I like to put the stickers over that can be used to track your moods every day. And so what I mean by that is what some people use them for is almost like putting an emoji on that date, like what is today, the 24th. So if I was having like a particularly happy day, I'd do maybe a really happy face emoji, but then like you can look back at months and sort of track your moods and maybe try to tell what it is that's causing you certain moods. So I do like the idea of, of doing it that way, but I just don't. So that's why I do the stickers. Maybe someday. Got a lot of cool sheen on here. It's so amazing in person and I feel bad if it's not like showing up that well on camera, but but the sheen is stunning. Maybe I'll actually, just for the purposes of trying to show off some of the sheen. Oh yeah, okay, so you can kinda, you can see that top strip. See how that's shining? Ooh, I love it. You can see all the swatches for these pins on the site also. So don't worry about that. We'll zoom in a little bit more. One thing I really love about this planner is this pocket. Um, let me hold it open. My friend Debbie sent me these Ollie clips, which are fun to use in here. And thank you so much, Debbie, if you're watching. But I do love this convenient pocket. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is, I like to keep a lot of white, white space in case I wanna leave notes, but I'm going to add just some decorative flourish because I want to show off these pens. So let me actually concentrate on the four new colors because why not? You can tell the new colors because the, see how the end is, you know, dual, it's dual colored, whereas the previous colors, they didn't think of doing that yet or something. And so they, basically the ends match the pen color or like one of the pen colors, I should say. And then they got clever and decided to do the duel here. So I'm gonna make some vines, some viney things. And we'll give it different colored leaves. Cause this is a special vine. <laughs> Thank you. 
I will probably be giving this paint diary plus a set of these pens to some people for Christmas just because I feel like who wouldn't have fun with this. My hand was bumping into the camera mount, so I thought maybe I wasn't on camera this whole time, but it looks like it's okay. Better do another pink one in there. I am just so glad they came back out with these. These should have been in their permanent lineup. I don't understand why they're so limited. Let's see, this one, this one, this pink blue one. Okay, now let's see if I can get it, oops, I didn't close that pocket, get it to show off the shimmer and the dual colors. This is really fun and amazing. And I am actually going to pick a different sticker. The beauty of these washi stickers is that they will come right off. So I am going to, that is if you don't have really long fingernails, I am going to figure out a replacement sticker that will actually cover that up. I have just the idea. Oh yeah, I think these fall stickers would be good for my November calendar. So let's see, what am I gonna do? I kinda want an overlapping thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have it say fall right over my letters where I had that weird thing happening. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm pretty fickle, huh? <laughs> uh, picky, picky, picky. One fun thing when I take off these stickers, it's actually, let me find that one. It's actually removing some of the top gold layer, which is actually a really cool effect. But let me go over it again, see what happens. When it dries, the, the yellow kind of comes to the forefront and the orange kind of goes back to the back front. Okay, so I didn't, the back front, is that even a word? Oh, that one would be good. Oh man, this is like such big decisions. <laughs> Which one is the most Thanksgiving-ish though? Hmm. Oh, this one would be cool. I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna have to be strategic. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Now you can't even tell that I smudged because it just looks like it's part of the sticker. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I love that viney thing with those cups. Jeez. See? No artistic talent whatsoever. And then you can make something real fun like that. How about that? All right, well, I think you're probably getting the idea of the paint diary. I'll probably finish this on my own time since it probably gets more private with personal matters to put on there. So yeah, just let me know if you have any questions about this paint diary or if you have any questions about the Pentel Hybrid Metallic. Before I go, I'm just gonna go over all 12 colors. I mean, everything's online, so you can just look at it there, but why not? Let's go over it. So the individual colors are blue and gold, and that is one of the new colors. You can tell by the end. 
pink and metallic blue, another new color. Green and metallic red, another new color. Where is the other new color? Here it is. Yellow and metallic green, another new color. And then the previous eight colors that were released before, of course, there's your gold and your silver. But they're not just any gold and silver. They are like really shiny gold and silver, okay? So don't think they're just any plain gold and silver. Green and metallic blue. Blue and metallic green. Violet and metallic blue. Black and metallic red. Orange and metallic yellow. This one is awesome. And pink and metallic pink. I also love this one. It just looks straight up metallic pink. It's really cool. So um, you also can get set A or set B. Now set A includes blue and metallic green, violet and metallic blue, green and metallic red, pink and metallic pink, gold, and pink and metallic blue. So four, four of those colors were in the previous release last year and two of them are the brand new colors. And it looks like a really cute gift set. And then set B, another really cute six color gift set, includes black and metallic red, orange and metallic yellow, green and metallic blue, silver, blue and gold, and yellow and metallic green. So again, four of last year's colors and two of this year's brand new colors. So again, let me know if you have any questions below. That was a lot of fun and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.